salutations. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, email me at armageddon.owsley at gmail.com for a transcript of this uh, reading absolutely free. And once you have, you can give it to anyone you like. Um, down the road, I'll be looking for donations here and there for things. But you know what? The bottom line, this is about love. And love alone and love shall arise. Uh, so love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our prince thereof. Uh, the reading that I'm doing right now, and the angels are looking over our shoulders here. Uh, uh, I'm in uh, Windsor, Ontario with my sister Trudy. Say hi, Trudy. Hey. And uh, so this reading is from uh, a book called Gospel of the Dove. And I have to tell you people that according to the Word of God, that the Word of God would open up in the latter days. In the last chapter of Daniel 12, 9 and verse 13 says so. Uh, it says that the Word would be closed until the time of the end. And at the time of the end, uh, a latter day Daniel would arise to embrace his destiny as Elijah and would cause the shattering of the power of the holy people, uh, Daniel 12, 7. Uh, because the bottom line is everything has been misinterpreted in the Word of God and there is total equality before Him for everyone whose love light is on. 1 John 4, 7, those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. And uh, the bottom line is we have uh, wrongly uh, separated ourselves from a brotherhood of man and now is the revelation of the desolate heritages uh, that uh, Isaiah 49, 8 totally was accurate about. So sit back, enjoy this uh, edifying um, read uh, of uh, the Lord of love because in the final analysis it does not matter what we call him, whether it's Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, Allah, Elohim, uh, uh, it doesn't matter, Adonai, he is the carpenter of the ages, he is love. And uh, Jesus said uh, to bring peace into this earth, uh, I am to restore all things. Matthew 11, 17 or 17, 11 says so. Do you know which one, people? Look it up. <laughs> That's what Jesus said that Elijah before uh, before he comes, he, that Elijah would restore all things. And his biggest word of restoration is to Christianity. Shut up, he says, because he says that the uh, born again is as the wind and no one knows. So quit defining who is born again by people uh, that believe in him. Because the truth is, those who love are born of God and know God. And I don't care if they're a Buddhist, a Hindu, an agnostic, an atheist, a homosexual, an alcoholic like myself. Whatever they may be, if love is in their hearts and it's burning, we are the children of love, coming from love, and He is love. We might not think we know Him, but just as fish are in water that gives them life, He is our water. And uh, the bottom line is everyone has had his law written upon their hearts. His kingdom age covenant has been given. Uh, the restoration of Acts 3.21 is what I'm talking about. Uh, Jeremiah 31 verses 33 to 35. And he says to all people, as God pours out his spirit of love upon all flesh, he says, he says, now I shall forgive your iniquity. I shall remember it no more. Write my word upon you and my law on your hearts. And now no one shall need to be taught of him anymore. Because as uh, Hebrews 8 rightly pointed, out everything before the kingdom age new covenant being given just as uh, Moses uh, said it would happen in the latter days uh, from one like him a covenant giver Deuteronomy 18 18 he said that uh, and a writer and God has never done anything in this world unless he has sent forth a writer and I am that writer I'm the revealer of the lawless one Morg official check him out Revelation 13 13 he's the sword swallower that would die by the sword and become the Antichrist watch his video called the message of Mr. Morg get some popcorn that's an entertaining one but um, so now I'm gonna begin this reading thus saith the Lord's dove of love by the spirit of prophecy, which is the revelation of Jesus Christ Almighty. As Oprah Winfrey declares, so is it true that a new day is dawning of light bulb moments as she, along with many others, now step forward to serve others 
while fighting for the righteous causes of the Lord's compassion amidst the trial of all flesh from COVID, uh, uh, as Revelation 3 says, to keep us from the uh, hour of temptation of not changing by his word of patience. So please have a little patience with this old guy. But the one thing for sure that um, uh, this is not just for our own country, but for all mankind, for the brotherhood of man that must arise. Uh, and that is what is going to save this world is unleashed love that's been bottled up far too long. But uh, so everyone will stop hating as they all turn to love because uh, Jesus' words in the Garden of Gethsemane was that we could be one as he is one and their only way to be unified with each other is in love. So the one world religion is the religion of love and uh, it, 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 it goes far beyond all religion that has been and uh, that's exactly what will bring 1,000 years of peace through his activated kingdom age covenant. By the way, watch that. Uh, I give it with my rock star moment in uh, one video called uh, The Prophetic Word of Joel Osteen, uh, the last 15 minutes. So the Spirit of the Lord says, Verily, verily, uh, this is the final spiritual uh, movement of love starting upon earth that will save it from the destruction of Isaiah 24, Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, uh, Malachi 4.6, and Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. And Jesus said the same thing. Unless the, this age of grace, the past one, was cut short, uh, that no flesh could survive. So he started the kingdom age because there's no other age in between them. That's it. So the intellectually, the kingdom age has begun early with the giving of his covenant that was prophesied in Malachi 3.1. It says so, the covenant messenger. Look for those wordings there. And so uh, this is written in uh, God's word uh, by his prophet of restoration in the book of Joel. And the Lord says, Behold, says the whispering uh, wind of God's Lion of Zion's word revealed. He says, Blow ye the seventh trumpet in Judah, and sound the uh, alarm of awakening for all those in Israel and all its lost tribes all over the circle of earth. Let every soul alive tremble, for the day of the Lord of love comes and is near at hand. But first it will be a happy day of darkness and gloominess being cast away as our understandings are opened up to his unconditional love. And he says, I shall forgive your iniquity and remember it no more to every single person that commits not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit and the unforgivable sin of letting their love die out because we need that light of love given to us from him to exist in our everlasting body that's made of light. Don't let that light go on. Flame on. Born again people has always just been to, to re-explode that love within us. Jesus said many times to, we got to become as little children. So in spite of all, in spite of uh, the mountains uh, thickly and uh, falling and the gross darkness leaving, uh, it's now the prophesied day of his love's restoration of his word by his word alone without the tradition of man added in as it has been. But you got to believe! Added. Addition. It's not written. For that uh, remodeling carpenter of the ages is now supernaturally causing the divine reformation of man by giving us the uh, brotherhood of man, uniting us because we could never ever do it on our own. It shall only be through love and through his peace. So now we can be one with him as, as he is with God and we can all be one together whether we even believe in a God or not it doesn't matter we just have to be loving individuals and the golden rule do unto others as we would have uh, others do unto us so if you're a criminal out there people don't kill the people if you're a God to rob them have mercy and the, 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 the warheads are going to go down in this age of peace. The Bible says so in Isaiah 2 that we're going to beat our, our, our swords into plowshares in the latter days. No matter what translation you read, in the latter days this will begin. Which means we do not have to have an Armageddon. 
that Zachariah 6 predicted, that uh, people's flesh would be consumed away and their eyeballs instantaneously while they stand and the, their tongues would consume away in their, in their mouths. Uh, there is not, nothing that causes something like that other than uh, nuclear. nuclear. And for this cause, adoration now dawns as a morning of the Lord's brightest glory of the eons being spread over man's spiritual horizons because this is the great time of his great refreshing and is borne up by his love's greatest mercies ever faithfully shining down upon mankind. So arise and see that the dove is the kingdom age's word of love and as Oprah and millions like her come forth clothed with the Lord's uh, enduring love as their most uh, majestic robes, so shall it be, people. So shall it be, if I can find my pl place, that those multitudes will become a great people and strong, neither and unified in love, neither shall there ever be any group more dedicated after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire of love devours before us, and uh, behind flames of the supernatural forgiveness burns as an incinerator for those daring to cross its merciless path of repentance. It's time for us to repent and love. Love will win. It always wins. And love is eternal. And the kingdom ages land ahead of all of us is as the Garden of Eden and behind us the fading days of graces, the age of graces, former ignorance became most desolate as, as they wiped away all memory of their former misunderstandings. Everyone, people, those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. That is the, the message of the everlasting gospel of which I am the writer of a gospel of creation. Watch my video, uh, The Manifested Everlasting Gospel of uh, Revelation 14. It is a gospel of uh, the one that Moses foretold in Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. So no longer does the wide need to suffer from the imagination of fools floundering in the wilderness of absolute nonsense because the truth is standing tall that if you look up uh, T-Rex blood cell you're gonna see blood cells in the vein of fresh dino meat which disproves things like evolution facts are facts people it's time to grow up and realize that the Lord created all of us and uh, he loves us all the same and that no religion separates us we have separated us there's never been a false God just a false understanding of love his love and that was veiled until this these end days of his covenant being given exactly as it is written to all mankind Jeremiah 32 27 and uh, it was correctly addressed to Israel and in the latter days it is foretold that it would be given uh, Jeremiah 30 24 and uh, Jeremiah 31 1 says so and if God didn't give it in these latter days he would be a liar he's not a liar and as we all go forth in the unity of purpose to defeat the hatred of the beast, and the beast is the atheistic uh, spirit, the morgue official of uh, uh, the I one revealed to be the lawless one, uh, the, the, the one that would die from a sword in Revelation 13, the 13 because be, and become the Antichrist. He's not yet, <laughs> but he's, he's a sword swallower, and that's who would die. You can see his uh, 666 in his Hyperion uh, symbol on the wall behind him. So again, watch the message of Mr. Morgan. I've, I've said that uh, twice before redundant purposes to sink in, that there is revelation going on here at this channel. Mm -hmm. And we shall all escape uh, the, the, that kind of thinking and will be consumed by love. And as we move ahead, we shall run like mighty men of war uh, as, people, as we combat, combat racism that's found in all religions of man's uh, invention. All my life, everybody that didn't believe, I looked down upon them with disgust. Yeah, oh, they've heard. Yeah. They're stupid. They're a this. They're a that. Boy, have I repented. 
and those of love that wants to shine as the sun, and that's what happens in Daniel 12, when the latter day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13 arises, that people shall shine as the sun, the wise. And we, they shall, uh, those heeding my words, because my words come from love, and they shall cry, climb great walls of man's greatest indifference, and indifference shall die, and it won't have to die too hard. We just got to get a going, people. And uh, people of love shall bring wrecking balls to knock down uh, these former imaginations that, 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 that cause nothing but heartache and pain and division amongst all men. So their former enemies will care once again. So people will turn to each other and start loving their neighbors as themselves. Then shall that great multitude of the wise march everyone on his ways, because they shall be united in the purpose of exalting our love of the ages to all men, and they shall not break any of their ranks, as many even march beyond the smoking gates of hell's hottest flames of intolerance. And the Satan is no more, because he can never be the accuser of the brethren, as the Bible said, because God says, And now I shall forgive your iniquity and remember it no more. He's been sent to the pit. And it's time for our indifference to join him in the pit. The gross darkness is gone. It's been shattered. We have to allow that light to come in. And when any of that multitude of God's mercy fall upon any swords of people's stupidity, they shall not be wounded anymore. The age of, oh, false prophet this, false prophet that can end. Because as long as we know that God is love over us, nothing we know or hear or think about can keep us from that love. And it makes no difference how false any false prophet may be. Just love. And people of wisdom that want to shine like the sun shall run to and fro as a mighty people. And they shall not thrust each other as they enter into windows of haters uh, like spies on a mission. As, as people of love invade places where unloving people are. And the wheat and the tares shall not grow together, but there shall be a transition uh, where, where the, the haters will become the lovers. And the earth shall quake before them as the heavens tremble at their love who goes before them in the power of his very own glory of his everlasting charity. And I'm talking about Isa, Yeshua, Jesus. I'm talking about the Word of God, Shiloh, Emmanuel, the carpenter of the ages. I'm talking about Jesus Christ Almighty. And I don't give a hoot whether you want to think he's divine or not. It makes no difference according to his kingdom age covenant because people there's don't have to God. know. Yeah. There's only one God and he is it. He's never even been jealous, people. Even though uh, Moses wrote that, it was metaphoric. So this book of holy prophecy shall now bring forth exceedingly great joy unto all children of mercy who have received unconditional love from our everlasting Father. For that cause, this manifested hope of all men will be shared by everyone on earth loving their enemies due to his divine love being birthed within them. For that giver of eternal charity is not mankind's uh, is not only mankind's unconditional love, but also their inconceivable one. No one can fathom the depths of his, his bottomless love, uh, because he is finally allowing all followers of his light to understand him and his ways in his fullness. The master said that Elijah would come before him, and then in Matthew 24 he asked a question, and the question was, who shall give meat? Uh, to those of the master's household when the master is away. Elijah, the latter-day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13, and I am he. So let his love now ring out all throughout the lands as Michael's seventh trumpet sounds off louder so God's mystery in Revelation 10, 7 can be shown to all. And because it was last, it was first. The first are last, the last are first. And the first trumpet has sounded, and all nations are now the Lord's. The sower of seeds has overtaken the reaper. The mystery of God, the secret is out. Amos 9, read it for yourself, people. This was all foretold. 
and for the former ignorance about our Creator has long brought forth both terror and much fear unnecessarily. But there was a veil put across all of history, and we had to, as a race, be mature enough to handle the utmost truth that religion has never had any difference to do with anything about his love that it goes over and transcends all oh, that we have God, imagined. God said the greatest commandment of all is love. Love. It's always been about love because he is love. Those who love are born of God and know him because that is who he is. John the Beloved's words must go again to all nations. Revelation 14 says so of the everlasting gospel that I have written. And it's to, to, to showcase John the Beloved's words, 1 John 4, 7, because if you're a Hindu or a Buddhist or a, a agnostic, you don't love, you don't know God. That's what the, the prevalent thought in this world. They got the right God. The Lord is the right one, but it doesn't matter whether you even believe in him or not because he was, yeah. he was slain according to the word of God before the foundation of the earth for all those that all were before time. him. He made time for us. Time has always been irrelevant also, people. So uh, then such insanity that has been around before, it, it, it became as an invisible thick fog of gross darkness because people haven't understood the, the true message of love. And it was covering the entire earth as Isaiah the prophet prophesied in Isaiah 60, uh, long before Christ's first coming, hundreds and hundreds of years. But in spite of that, his unexpected truth of love always remained unchanging, unperturbed, and completely beautiful, unbeknownst to anyone receiving his gift of eternal life. No one understood how beautiful his word really was over us and his peace. For this reason, man should never again be religious in the face of error. While taking so much seriously, uh, since billions have only seen our Lord God Almighty within the most unflattering light that has slanted all understanding of him, Towards him being the first and the foremost wrathful. People want to see him as wrathful. And this is not the case. And I prove this in my other videos. People. God is love. Uh, when he is actually love at the highest apex of forgiveness being turned inside out. And as uh, this little book of... Uh, uh, of Revelation 10:9 that I have written becomes celebrated as the true word of love is is is, is hoisted up for all to salute <laughs> all throughout the world. <coughs> Man will swiftly discover that this gospel of the dove restores all things because God's own word of the kingdom age covenant given to Jeremiah in chapter 1 verse 10. He said, Jeremiah tear down all the kingdoms of faith. And then they put it over to a latter day um, kingdom age uh, prophecy for the latter days correctly addressed to Israel and all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. Uh, and uh, this is all the promise of uh, Matthew 17, 11, where he said that uh, his uh, messenger of Malachi 3, 1 with his word, his word preparing his own way. I'm just the messenger. And that would restore all things according to his word of the last Elijah that comes. And the first Elijah, by the way, was focusing on who is the true God, the character. And that is exactly what the last Elijah is focusing on, the true character of love whom mankind has missed. And it's time for us to start getting along, people. Jesus Christ is the explosive spirit of prophecy. And this is the book of the everlasting gospel of the desire of the nations whom all men seek whether they realize it or not. For truth is truth as he is. No more shall secrets be kept from man, saith the Lord Jehovah Nissi, our living banner of love. For this cause, says his spirit, he who shall now he who now remains ignorant is, is but a silly creature of apathy and forgetfulness who is fated to perish because their brains seemingly leaked out of their closed ears or their open mouths, which should have received a foot first. 
It's time for us to open up our, our ears to the soft, gentle, whispering word of love that's tugging at all everyone's hearts. Because if, 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 if we don't join together with our brothers hurting all over this world, uh, uh, what's foretold is six billion people would die, six billion, from the dark horsemen of uh, Revelation 6 that are riding. <laughs> the pale rider is riding. Love, therefore, is all in all, encompassing all that is or all that will be. And only by love alone shall unbelievers finally believe. For it's of foolishness not to believe in the transformation of the true sons and daughters of the Most High as they take off for his heavenlies long before they die. And within a moment of a moment, our spirits can adjoin with Jesus Christ coming on a cloud exactly as he said in Matthew 24. And there, because the covenant age has been given, now all men can receive the inheritance here and now. And, and we can fly up to meet him with our heart adjoining to his heart. And we can become one with love in whom flows his rivers of living water. Amen. Before we die. And Paul said that the alcoholic, the homosexual, the this, that can't inherit the kingdom of God. They can. Wink, wink. Now they can, because the covenant has openly been given. It is the climax of all the prophets, and it was foretold in many ways. And all throughout my videos, I'll be explaining what, how this connects to that, so that people can understand that which no one has ever understood, because definitions have always been wrong, and people haven't understood what's literal, what's metaphoric. Watch the, the, the song by Ozzy Osbourne called How John Lennon Was a Prophet and Days of Imagine the Brotherhood of Man are upon us in peace and love that he sends our love of the ages. So have, herein in my uh, writings is the prophesied knowledge of Elohim laid out as a blueprint so all men may adjust their crooked foundations so they may stand up straight. The honor of Adonai, the Lord of Israel, is now crowned upon the, pur the purest truth as his joy agrees with it and his glory of the eons magnifies it so greatly. And since this gospel of his unconditional love is gospel truth, it reveals his truest loving image. Thusly, the eternal Logos of the Father now goes forth to be seen as fruit of the expression of his will, his perfect will, as we all stand together in one, unity. as one, yeah. in love, in unity, totally forgetting everything about religion is of no importance. Stand with Alatra, Alatra to the highest heavens. It's a group of people from all uh, religion standing together to do good in this world. Check it out. Google it. Alatra. A-L-L-A-T-R-A. Thusly, the eternal logos of the Father now goes forth to be seen as the fruit of the expression of his perfect will. I've said that again twice to, to emphasize the perfect has come. The perfect covenant has come. And all former covenants are obsolete as Paul, the apostle, Seven. foretold in Hebrews 8, 813, if you want to get technical, look it up, it says so, people. And this was a mystery that he, for, he, he said, I would have you not to be ignorant. Romans 11, read about it. And he points out that in, when the fullness of Gentiles comes, all Israel would be saved because of the covenant, the kingdom age covenant. And the message of love from our, our Lord of love will now save earth from oblivion as he steers, stirs up our love within us and our love shall overflow and save this earth from utter destruction and utter oblivion so that the erasable curse of Malachi 4.6 shall not come as all the hearts of the fathers turn to the uh, sons and daughters and the sons and daughters turn to the hearts of the parents. I had to be hurt very terribly in this uh, spot in order to help healing flow people. 
and someday I'll make a video that my children won't appreciate hearing. But love has to start flowing. And uh, sometimes people need to be rebuked. Shaked up a little Shaked bit. Shaked up a little bit in love. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll try to be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear. And the message of love from him that will now save the earth from oblivion uh, is that as anyone's ignorance about love fades while they're gaining knowledge um, for all, and that's what will happen as our knowledge increases, our ignorance will decrease and everything satanic, the gross darkness that was there before can flee as Christ's Son of Righteousness now arises to create the flaming harvest of, Swiss, of swift cleansing fires within our hearts, exactly as Isaiah 64 told, for the kingdom age is beginning. The vision of Habakkuk 2, 1 through 6, King James is here, and I am he whose soul is not upright, but the just shall live by my faith. And no one's soul is upright. Everybody's soul is off. Mm -hmm. yes. That is a revealed secret. We're all of sinners. Everybody. Everybody. We all fall short of the glory, you know. So shall it be, saith the Lord's dove of love, that the works of man have been scattered and not focused, which shall soon change as people now begin worshiping our creator, our carpenter of the ages in spirit and in all truth. The very truth that no church on the face of this planet what in the year 2020 would even allow to be preached. They would not allow Jesus Christ to preach in churches because the truth is, the hidden truth, the veiled truth that is now revealed is that people do not have to believe in him. And the whole church has always been wrong about this. Jesus said that the born again is like the wind. No one can know. And yet, for 2,000 years, we've all defined it exactly what it is. No, that's total opposite of what he said. Everyone ignored him. And everyone has a different opinion. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. It's always you know? love. Those who love are born of love. God and know God because God is love. Born again is just light on, Johnny Torch. God calls us to love each That's other. That's the restoration. So we have to come together and we have to begin removing condemnation from all of our brethren. Because the Bible says those walking in the Spirit are under no condemnation. And what walking in the Spirit means is those walking with their love light on is under no condemnation. That is the revealed mystery of God, people. Right. Revelation 10, 7. You're either going to believe that the Bible had a mystery that was veiled, a secret, as uh, as Peter said in Acts 3, 21, as right. John the Beloved said <laughs> in Revelation. In the Bible. There has, there's restoration that now comes. Hallelujah. And it shall come to pass by way of unity between those of all faiths, all people of love, that the knowledge of all of them shall be purified through a newfound diversity that's embraced instead of being pushed away as mankind stands together in love as the prayer of Jesus manifests by his word because he knew and he did not waste his one word in the Garden of Gethsemane. And yet, in Isaiah 49, 4, for 2,000 years, Christians have misinterpreted that prophecy. And it says that this end-time servant, which is actually me, would come to realize that he wasted all of his time in vain. Jesus never wasted one word of his time. No, that was me writing books for 20 years that nobody ever wanted to read. I got fed up years ago. Uh, trying to pass out my materials because everybody's so close-minded on this face of this planet. And that is what uh, closed-mindedness will like be destroyed uh, if people will heed the Lord's voice of, of love. And that is what's coming. That's right, that's right. And the divine unity of man shall then devour itself. Uh, the darkness by light and death by life as love grows and is shined all over this world. As the glory of God covers the earth, as waters cover the sea, and as grass covers all the lands. Now therefore shall the evil shall the evils of error be greatly disturbed and then destroyed by those of love. For error can easily be wiped away just as man quit worshiping all the gods of Greek mythology. 
Our it's religion up. has been mythology, people. Mm -hmm. All of our religion has been mythology. There's no difference between a Buddhist, a Christian, and an atheist that they all love. Those who love are born of God and know God. Because we all fall Because short. God is love. And he picks us up and he dusts us off. And the, he says, go on our way. The born again thing was always off. People thought, oh, you believe in Jesus, you become born again. And somehow you're different than everybody else. No, that's a fallacy. That is a myth. We're not special. No one's special. God loves us all. He loves all of us as if we were the only one. And time was created for us, people. So now shall those of truth come to see that their true nationality, their truest nationality is not their religion, their truest nationality is mankind. And that everyone's biggest hurdles are now at Earth's doorway of hope. We gotta go through the door, people. Or there's nothing that's gonna survive. We gotta change, stop the wars. Stop so within mm -hmm. this day of refreshing foretold in Acts 3, Man shall then come to realize that humanity's next state has to rise above them all for the sake of their common blessings that can't be diminished once its flames of peace arise. And that's why the prophet Micah uh, predicted that they would walk in peace, those with their Lord and those with their Lord in peace. No more animosity between people. A time of love and a time of forget forgiveness. And no more will anyone uh, need to worry about the whole body being infected from poisoned and rotting arms or feet because every single one of us are the hands of God and the feet of God and the heart of God. If our heart love light is on, then we are one with Him. Everyone. And it doesn't matter if you've never heard the name of God or Isa or Yeshua or Jesus or love. Or if you love and you, your love light is on, those who love are born of God and know God. That is the big restoration of the end kingdom age. And he says to all people, I forgive your iniquity and I shall remember it no more. Satan is now in the pit to give us a, a brand new start. If you want to believe Daniel 12's prophecy was true. And hallelujah, then now Jesus can return. And I have the gift of prophecy uh, interpretation as the original Daniel had. And that's why I know a couple things. Uh, and that's why I, I arise to embrace my destiny as Elijah, as Daniel 12, 13 straight out says. That's right. Someone had to. And my name is Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel Fletcher Owsley. And that's Trudy Darlene Owsley. And now for supernatural healing now also arises under the whitest wings of the Lord's dove of peace as those of hope are healed by love as all error passes away. Jesus Christ, the spirit of prophecy, is love and he comes forth for all people. The, in the latter days, John 10, 16, Jesus said in those days that all the flocks would hear his voice and then there would be one shepherd over all. He has enlarged the, the place of uh, his tent, whether we like it or not. And this is all foretold. The dreaded one world religion, it's his kingdom age new covenant of Jeremiah 31 verses 33 to 35. That's what it is, love, unconditional. The good and, version, and not the, the Antichrist. And version. the bottom line, folks, the only way that we would perish is if we let that light of love go out. That is the unforgivable sin. And uh, then we would have no light left for the next body that's made of light. So more than ever, people shall plainly see that he who experiences the unity of life sees himself in all beings and uh, all beings in himself as he finally begins looking at all things through impartial eyes. Let me read that again. People of, that will shine as the sun, that want to be wise, they will start seeing themselves in all beings and, in, and all beings in ourselves as we finally begin looking at all things impartially. 
And that is what the Lord wants to bring back is open-mindedness into this world. Please watch Morg Official. He hasn't become the Antichrist yet, but he'll break some people out of uh, uh, some real bad thinking because there's a lot of it in this world. And I can agree to agree, uh, and I can agree to disagree with an atheist in love. And that's what God wants everyone to do. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Penn Gillette, I, I say hello to, uh, he has a good serious bullshit. And he said, anyone that believes in the, the story of uh, Jesus, if they won't proselytize and spread the good word, uh, and if they really believe that, uh, you know, it, that would save them from, from a certain death, how much do you have to hate people? Not to, get Not to the tell them the good news. Yeah. So pa he's right. <laughs> so pass on the good news that love is alive and that we are children of love and love is going to save all of our days. Make your own day, people. Love is so true. It's so true. So I'm going to wind this up here now and I just want to thank you for being with us. Please subscribe. Uh, email me armageddon.owsley.gmail.com for a transcript of all of my readings because all of my readings are coming from the same book. Let perfect love cast out fears. Um, people are so afraid of something that seems new, but what I'm giving is not new at all. It's restoration. It's as it was before. Let me tell you one real th th short thing. Israel was told, Israel, we're going to give you, God says, uh, a covenant in the latter days, unlike the ones the fathers had, where you had to do something, where you had to believe something. So then time marched on, and then all of a sudden Christians arise and say, ah, Jesus is the fulfillment of this prophecy, blah, 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 blah. And then they had another choice. They had to make another choice when God straight out said that it would be unlike unconditional. He was promising an unconditional covenant of love. Right. And Christians changed it. That's why he sent the rainbow, you know? Peace. No more destruction. No Armageddon. Then all believers in love shall come to the Lord's secret place, where his spirit will overflow upon them as a refiner's fire. And the, the, the fire of heaven is flowing uh, you can hear it snap, crackling, and pop if you listen to our sound effects. <laughs> but the, the refiner's fire to purify it, to turn the silver into gold, and that's by love and love alone. And those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. So for those desiring peace, they can finally see that the world is their country. There's only one country, and there's only one and we shall be one as God is one. And all mankind are our brethren, regardless of what people believe in. It is of no importance whatsoever. Only love alone is vital. So to love all people shall become people's only religion if they are wise. And uh, that would spare people from everlasting destruction as people become born again in love and become again as little children because every single baby that's ever been born loves. Victory now stands on guard for those of love and his name is Victory with a capital V and we are overcomers because we are children of victory. So let us arise in love and that good shepherd now spotlights his path of love herein. That's the preparation for his fast nearing peace, his kingdom age peace that intellectually has begun by the kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah being given to all flesh. And with a flash of his hand, rays of his holiness, the Lord's holiness shall come forth as a storm to wash away all ignorance over love. Then that Messiah of the ages will bring discovery to seekers, revelation to evil and triumph unto those who are not afraid uh, of following love wheresoever he leads. And it shall come to pass that all men will awake to truth as they cast down the blindness of prejudice in favor of the sight to see that we are only as strong as we are united and we are only as weak as we are divided. 
Together we shall stand, or divided we shall fall hard. Those of all religions shall stand up for unity, as a brotherhood of man is borne up by the dove's wings, and born again in these closing days of Allah's grace. Consequently, those of love, Isa Yeshua Jesus, the Word of God, shall now love and serve mankind for the sake of God, for the sake of Adonai, Elohim. He is Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over every single one of us people. And regardless of what religion or what race is of no importance. Red or yellow, black or white. Even the green the ones count. If there were any among us. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Yeah, and the people, the wise, will be receiving their greatest inspiration from the very same heavenly source. Everybody receives the same inspiration from the same heavenly source. Love is his name. Then they shall all become subjects of the very same king of kings as they raise their voices to exalt love. So have a little love. 2021 is going to be a lot better. There's vaccines coming. God loves us so much. And, you know, all things work together for good, even the bad things. Amen.